In today's episode, I will explain the difference between React and Next.js. By the end of this video, you will understand why Next.js is such a popular framework out there in the market. I will also give the demo on the React as well as Next.js, how it works behind the scene. But before that, let me explain you the analogy of React and Next.js with simple example. Let us say you have a kid who wants to order a bicycle. Now there are company A and company B. So there are two companies who can deliver the bicycle. The difference is that company A delivers the cycle, but in a parse. That means it is not assembled. Okay. So they will send the parcel. You get the parcel and then you assemble it and then your cycle is ready. The company B is sending you the assembled cycle. So everything is ready. Once you get the delivery, your kid can take a ride on that as soon as possible. So with which company kid will be more happy with company A or company B? 90% of the people will say company B because as soon as the delivery comes, he can take a ride. It is assembled. Everything is ready. That is exactly what happens in React and Next.js. In case of React, what happens is that you get an empty page from the server. So you get an HTML page. There is head. There is a body. But inside body, there is nothing. There is just one element with ID root. And then React is going to execute the JavaScript on the client side. And then HTML will be generated. And then that HTML will be inserted into that particular root tag. But in case of Next.js, what happens is that the components are rendered on the server. The HTML is generated on the server. Everything is ready. And that HTML is sent to the client. Once the client browser gets that HTML, so in the body itself, there is everything is there like data, div, whatever tags are there. Everything is there in the body. So you can see that Next.js is very fast and React is very slow. In case of React, what is happening is that entire JS bundle is being sent from the server to the client. Client is executing that JavaScript and then the whole application is being generated on the client side. Server side rendering is particularly beneficial for content heavy websites or applications where search engine optimization is crucial. By providing pre-rendered HTML, Next.js ensures that search engines can easily crawl and index the content boosting discoverability and search rankings. The next big advantage of Next.js is that it provides built-in support for code splitting. So with the code splitting, what happens is that the code for a specific page is downloaded only when it is necessary. In case of React, what happens is that entire JavaScript bundle is downloaded from the server to boot the application. But in case of Next.js, it happens through the code splitting. So if you want to see the home page, only that JavaScript or the resources will be sent to the client that are required to view the home page. And that's why the Next.js is very fast as far as code splitting is concerned. Next.js routing is straightforward. You can create new routes simply by adding a new file in the pages directory or the app directory. This approach eliminates the need for manual configuration, reducing boilerplate code and enhancing development speed. Additionally, Next.js also allows to handle API requests directly within your application, making it seamless to create serverless API endpoints. So in case of uh, React, uh, you know, if you want to access some data from the server, you will have to rely on third party APIs. OK, but in case of Next.js, Next.js provides the ability to create the API endpoints directly within the application itself. So it is like a full stack uh, web development uh, you can do on the Next.js, but in React only front end development happens. Another advantage of uh, Next.js is that it's serverless architecture. What it means is that whenever you create API endpoints, they can be deployed or they can be treated as a serverless API endpoints. So you don't need a, basically a server up and running to uh, accept or uh, process those requests that are coming uh, on the API endpoints. Next.js also shines when it comes to deployment and scalability by leveraging the power of serverless architecture. Next.js applications can be easily deployed to cloud providers like Vercel or AWS Lambda. This serverless approach offers numerous benefits such as effortless scaling, reduced operational overhead and automatic handling of high traffic spikes. Apart from this, Next.js also provides other optimizations as far as CSS is concerned, scripting is concerned, metadata is concerned and lazy loading is concerned. In short, Next.js builds upon the solid foundation of React and enhances it with server-side rendering, automatic code splitting, built-in routing and serverless deployment. 
by leveraging these features nextjs empowers developers to create high performance seo friendly web applications with improved development speed and scalability as the web evolves nextjs continues to be a valuable tool in a developer's toolkit